Mase, Acts chapter 28. And having come to safety, then they learned that the island was called Malit. And the foreigners showed us extraordinary kindness, for they kindled a fire and received us all because of the rain that was falling and because of the cold. But Shaul, having gathered a bundle of sticks and having laid them on the fire, an adder came out because of the heat and fastened itself on his hand. And when the foreigners saw the creature hanging from his hand, they said to each other, This man is certainly a murderer, whom though saved from the sea, still right ruling does not allow to live. Then indeed he shook off the creature into the fire and suffered no evil. And expecting that he would swell up or suddenly fall down dead, they waited for a long time and saw no harm come to him. Changing their minds, they said that he was a mighty one. And in the neighborhood of that place were the, land, I, were the lands of the chief of the island, whose name was Poplius, who received us and housed us in a friendly way for three days. And it came to be that the father of Poplius lay sick with inflammation and dysentery. Shaul went in to him, and having prayed, he laid his hands on him and healed him. And when this took place, the rest of those on the island who had diseases also came and were healed, who also respected us in many ways. And when we were setting sail, they provided us with our needs. And after three months, we set sail in an Alexandrian ship, which had wintered at the island, and whose figurehead was Dioscuri. And having landed at Syracuse, we stayed three days, from which place we went round and arrived at Regium. And after one day the south wind blew, and the second day we came to Puccioli, where we found brothers, and were invited to stay with them seven days. And so we went toward Rome. And when the brothers there heard about us, they came to meet us <coughs> as far as Forum of, Forum of Appius and three taverns. When Shaul saw them, he thanked Elohim and took courage. And when he, we came to Rome, the captain delivered the prisoners to the captain of the guard. But Shaul was allowed to stay by himself with the soldier guarding him. And it came to be after three days that Shaul called the leaders of the Yehudim together. And when they had come together, he said to them, Men, brothers, though we have done none at all against our people or the practices of their fa our fathers, I was delivered as a prisoner from Jerusalem into the hands of the Romans, who, when they had examined me, intended to let me go, because there was no cause for putting me to death. But the Yehudim spoke against it, and I was compelled to appeal to Caesar, not that I had any accusation against my nation. This, therefore, is the reason I called for you, to see you and speak with you. It is because of the expectation of Israel that I am bound with this chain. And they said to him, We neither receive letters from Yehuda concerning you, nor have any of the brothers who came reported or spoken whatever wicked about you. And we think it right to hear from you what you think, for indeed, concerning this sect, we know that it is spoken against everywhere. And having appointed him a day, Many came to him where he was staying, to whom he was explaining, earnestly witnessing about the reign of Elohim, and persuading them concerning Yeshua from both the Torah of Moshe and the prophets, from morning until evening. And some indeed were persuaded by what was said, and some believed not. And disagreeing with one another, they began to leave, after Shaul had spoken one word. The set-apart spirit rightly spoke through Yeshayahu the prophet to our fathers, saying, Go to this people and say, Hearing you shall hear, but by no means understand, and seeing you shall see, but by no means perceive. For the heart of this people has become thickened, and with their ears they heard heavily, and they have closed their eyes, lest they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and turn back, and I should heal them. Therefore, let it be known to you that the deliverance of Elohim has been sent to the nations, and they shall hear. And when he had said these words, the Yehudim went away and had a great dispute among themselves. And Shaul stayed two entire years in his own rented house and was receiving all who came to him, 
proclaiming the reign of Elohim and teaching about the Master Yeshua Messiah with all boldness unhindered.